Hello and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Let's read Big Nelly. It's okay to be different. Nelly the elephant loved to play with her three best friends, Stripes the tiger, Jojo the monkey, and Kiki the parrot. But whenever she did, things seemed to go wrong. The friends had so much fun together, but Nelly felt much too big to join in. Her size had become a very big problem. When they played hide and seek, Jojo the monkey hid up a tree, and Kiki the parrot pretended to be a pretty flower. But Nelly couldn't hide anywhere at all. Her big ears flapped out from either side of the tree trunk. Her bottom poked out from behind the bushes, and her nose stuck out like a snake in the grass. Poor Nelly couldn't find anywhere to hide. At the swimming pool, Nelly cried "Hooray!" and ran towards the water in excitement. "I'll go first," she said, jumping in with a huge splash. The water went everywhere, leaving the pool empty. "Oh, Nelly!" cried the others. "Now we can't swim." "I'm sorry," said Nelly, feeling a bit silly. "Let's play another game." "I know," said Stripes. Let's play tug of war. Kiki and Stripes picked up one end of the rope, and Nelly and Jojo picked up the other. Ready, steady, pull! cried Stripes. Nelly's friends heaved with all their strength. Then Nelly gave one tiny tug, and Kiki, Stripes, and Jojo were pulled over into a big pile. Crash! Oh dear! said Nelly. Let's try the swing instead," said Jojo. "Come on, Nelly, we'll give you a push." Jojo, Kiki, and Stripes pushed Nelly as hard as they could. For a few seconds, Nelly hung happily in the air. Then suddenly, whoosh! The swing fell back down and knocked the three friends over with a whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Cried Nelly, bursting into tears. It's no use. I'm too big to play with you. I'll just have to go and play by myself. Don't go! Her friends cried together, but it was too late. Nelly was gone. She set off into the jungle all alone. Nelly plodded along all afternoon, singing songs to herself and catching butterflies with her trunk. After a little while, she began to feel lonely. I miss my friends," thought Nelly with a sigh. "Being alone isn't half as fun as playing with Jojo, Kiki, and Stripes, even if I'm too big." Suddenly, Nelly heard a squawk. It was Kiki flying straight towards her. "Kiki, what are you doing here?" cried Nelly happily. "It's an emergency," said Kiki. "Jojo is stranded in the middle of the lake. Please come quickly. You're the only one big enough to help." Nelly raced through the trees, and Kiki flapped her wings. They rushed as fast as they could until they reached the lake. "Don't worry, Jojo!" cried Nelly, jumping into the water. She waded to the rock that Jojo was holding on to, wrapped her long trunk around him, and carried him to the shore. "Thank you, Nelly," said Jojo. "You're the only one who could have saved me. Please don't go away again." Said Kiki and Stripes, hugging Nelly tightly. We missed you. Nelly smiled, feeling special. I missed you too, but I'm still too big to play our games. She said, "It isn't the size of the friends, but the size of the friendship that counts." Replied Jojo. From that day on, the friends only played games that they could all join in with. Wahoo! Cried Nelly. This is the best fun. Ever, the end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. And remember, it's okay to be different. Don't forget to like this video, share this video if you want to, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next book. Bye for now.